Hello everyone, and this build is going to be a very supporty set. Uh, I know not a lot of people like to do support sets because, well, most people like to do just a lot of damage. But if you are playing with people who are new to Monster Hunter and you want to help but not necessarily take over the match and just kind of steamroll through and they don't really learn anything this build is good for that as well as if you want to play online and you again just kind of want to take a back seat to everything maybe you're fighting a monster that is really weak to sleep maybe you just like playing supports and games it's perfectly okay this build is just there for anyone who wants to use it so obviously we're going to be using the Radabon sword and shield you could use sleep dual blades and i was really contemplating using those instead for a little bit more offensive pressure they the dual blades and the sword and shield both have very similar sheathing times which is very very fast so you could interchange to if you like dual blades more if you really wanted to i don't know if there are any good sleep dual blades but i'm sure there's at least one that's w worth using or worth mentioning and it would apply sleep even faster but Radabon is the well most well-known sleep monster aside from phantom paolumu <laughs> so we have in the astral veil a helmet we have the sleep attack plus two jewel the ko and vitality uh level level 4 jewel this is mostly for the slugger but the health boost is also nice just to make you a little tankier this is another sleep boost jewel this is just to make it so your sleep build up is more is higher so you're putting the monster to sleep more often this is another ko jewel and recovery up so the reason i have two slugger jewels is because when you use the shield moves from the sword and shield you do knockout damage so if you ever feel or if you ever find yourself in a position where you can do the knockout damage by all means go for it it'll help your hammer bro out if they're swinging at the face and you see an opportunity to help out it just again this is to help accentuate what everyone else is doing just to give everyone a boost forward the medicine isn't really, or yeah, the medicine recovery up isn't really what you want out of this. This is mostly for the KO. This jewel gives you wide range and constitution. The constitution isn't needed, but you want wide range for a support build because wide range allows you to heal and affect other people with your items. So when you chug a health potion, you are healing nearby people as well as yourself. Obviously, we don't max out wide range. I tried as hard as I could. You probably could if you got rid of botany, but botany is there for if you run out of consumables and you need more and you don't want to go back to base. This is the option I put in here just so you can scavenge around while you're moving between zones or while you're in a zone, you're just kind of running around. This just gives you the option to get more supplies on the fly. You could easily swap this out to max out wide range if you really wanted to. I just tried to make this build as versatile as possible. Uh, we have a maintenance jewel. This is mostly because with this, well, we max out tool specialists because you're going to be using the boosters. You're not going to be using any mantles. So your health booster and your cleanser booster are up more often. Again, support build. The health boosters are for everyone to use, not just yourself. So your boosters will be up more often, thus helping your team more often. And then the last one is Grinder. This is just so you can sharpen your weapon faster if you ever need to. You could put the, you could swap this out for whatever you want. But the point of this is to put the monster to sleep, and every time you run out of white sharpness, which this sword and shield it does not have a lot of, uh, you just get to sharpen that much faster. You could swap this out for whatever you want. And then for the actual equipment that I have is the Astral Veil A, which is for wide range plus three. 
the Bunborough Male B, which is for the speed eating, as well as the slots, because you get a level 4 and a level 1. This is the Namael Gloves B. This is for tool specialists specifically, because again, we want all the boosters to be activated as much as possible. This is Bonboro Coil B. This is for the Mushroom Answer. So certain, depending on your level of Mushroom Answer, your, your herbs, your bugs, you know, your mushrooms, they give you bonuses as well. And I'm not 100% sure, but I'm very pretty sure that if you have wide range and you take the mushrooms or the herbs or whatever, that it affects your allies as well. And then the second part of Bonboro B, the Greaves, is again for Mushroomancer as well as the slots. And then the I have a Master's Charm 5. This is just for critical eye, so you could be a little bit more offensive, but again, you could swap this out for whatever you want. You could do crit draw, you could do handicraft, so your your sharpness is way better. Actually, that might be a better option. It might be better to use the handicraft charm. Uh, but you could go defense, you could go whatever you want. Honestly, you could even go sleep charm, or uh, I think there's a sleep attack charm. You could do that if you wanted, and then you have some extra sl uh, slots in your decorations to mess around with like you can get rid of this you can get rid of this and put something else in the charm and the grinder and the botany are pretty you could swap them out if you really wanted to everything else uh i would say is stuff you want to keep the if you're going to use dual blades with this build the two ko jewels can go and you could put something else in if you really wanted to i would do just off the top of my head, I would maybe do, hu uh, not hungerless, maybe item prolonger. So if you take like a mite seed or uh, adamant seed or something like that, they last a little bit longer. Wide range does not affect this, but it affects you, which is still nice. You could also do something like a survival expert, which isn't too good, but it's there. You could go Meyer Walker. If you really wanted to, you could do Hard Intimidator. You if if you feel like using this build for your for like a cat build, you could go uh, Palico Rally Jewel as well, just for the fun of it. I could see that being kind of funny as like a Pokemon Palico build. But anyways, that is all for this video. I hope this set serves you well. I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.